Hmm. Well, before I rotate it, I'm going to wait to see if someone pops in here so I can get some instructions. If you're able to see me okay, if you're able to hear me okay. I see one person is here. Are you able to see me okay? Because I'm going to be doing a DIY. So I'm going to put the screen down in just a few minutes. But I want to make sure you're able to see me because it's telling me to rotate my screen. Just wondering if somebody could answer me and let me know. Welcome everyone. Hey, it's great to be with you today. Hey, Jetta, good. Stick around, help me. <laughs> it says for me to turn the angle of the camera, but are you able to see me clearly? And is the screen big enough to see? I don't know what will happen if I turn it. Hey, Stephen, I see you. Hi, Michelle. She says, I can see. Well, I wanted to just introduce myself to people that don't know me because I came under, uh, came to HAPS today on this video uh, with an arts and craft type thing. The screen is good. Okay, good. Oh, I'm glad I've got some people help to help me. Just, to, just help me get started. If you can't stay, that's okay. But um, what I'm here to do is a DIY, a how-to uh, turn it sideways. You think so? Hey, James. God bless you, too. Yes, happy Palm Sunday. Let me just see what happens if I do turn it. Then I'm going to know for next time. Okay, bear with me. Let's see. Oh, that was easy enough. Well, now what happens? Now you see all the wildlife behind me, but now what's that like, better or worse? <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> Anyway, for people that don't know me, I'm Pastor Cindy. I pastor the Glory Chain right here on HAPS, but I will all, it's better? Oh, goodness. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try. Uh, anyway, I pastor the Glory Chain, but I have a heart for crafting. I have an Etsy shop. I've been doing crafts and jewelry and just everything you can imagine for as long as I can remember. Um, it looks good. Thank you. Okay, well, we'll try it this way. And so I'm going to start eventually doing some uh, crafting videos here on HAPS. And the reason I want to do this is, and it's going to be fun. Now today is, I just need to make this diaper cake because I'm on my way to my granddaughter's baby shower because we're having yet another gravy. And so I love to make diaper cakes for baby showers. It's so fun. So I thought, well, since I have to make it anyway, I'll do it live. But normally when I come on here, what I'm going to be doing, here's the plan. Here's the little idea. Normally the banner behind me will explain it, but haven't made the banner yet. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to be doing, and especially, you know, when it gets closer to the holidays, I think it'll be probably most popular. But I'm going to be making all kinds of things, super cool things. And... You can watch me make it. I'll tell you where I get the supplies. I'll show you DIY step by step. But for those of you who are not crafters and don't want any part of making anything, then I'm going to have like a little bid thing where if you bid, I think it's going to be a dollar. If you bid a dollar or not bid, but just donate a dollar, you'll buy a ticket. And then at the end of that week, when I do my next video, Everyone who donated a dollar will be, your tickets will be in a barrel and then I'll spin the wheel and one person is going to win the thing that I made in the previous video. So for one dollar, you can win some really cool things. And when it gets closer to the holidays, I've got some super awesome, adorable uh, Christmas ornaments that I'll be making like sets of 12. So lots of gift ideas that you can then either use for yourself or pass on or whatever you want to do but that's my plan I'm going to see if it works ah I hope it does I hope that there is an audience somewhere out there <laughs> for something like this because I just love making things and my house cannot handle any more projects and my Etsy shop is really busy in fact I've got over 20 orders I'm, I'm behind right now everything I I sell in Etsy I have to make and so um, I've got pet memorial jewelry. I've got um, bridal hankies. I've got, I've got bridal jewelry. I've got um, just everything you can imagine. You can go check out my Etsy shop if you want to know more. It's Masterpiece, P-E-A-C-E. 
Masterpiece Design, not Masterpiece Design. <laughs> that used to be my name. Masterpiece Market. Masterpiece, P-E-A-C-E, Market, all one word, dot Etsy, dot com. I think that's how you do it. But don't go in there to buy anything. I just can't handle the orders. So what I'm hoping eventually is that I can shut the Etsy shop, which will be sad. But that way I can make one or two super cool things a week and someone is going to win. And then by if there's enough people that will buy a ticket for a dollar, then it will give me some income as well. And it just, it's a win-win. Everybody wins. That's the plan. So I'm sure I'm gonna have to explain it again and again, but for today, I'm gonna be making or finishing uh, this diaper cake that I'm gonna be taking over to my uh, granddaughter's baby shower. First, I wanna just tell you some of the things you'll need if you've never made a diaper cake <clears throat> before I turn the screen onto the table. I'll just kind of hold things up. Um, there is a paint, it's called chalk paint. It is the most popular paint out there right now. Reason, it dries fast. And you know, I love acrylic paint as well. I think acrylic paint <clears throat> is just as good, but chalk paint is super popular. So for this project, because this project is a diaper cake with a cow theme. So I did the black and white and a touch of pink because we're having a baby girl. All right, so you can get this at any of the craft sh uh, shops like Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, all of those places. All right, you're gonna need diapers, okay? You're gonna need baby diapers to make this cake. Now, I've made so many of these and I've usually, I, I, I've made a mistake by usually buying newborn diapers or size one. The mistake with that is they need to tear that diaper cake down pretty fast to use those diapers. Um, so this time I was smarter. Uh, always is also important to find out what brand of diapers the mama is going to use on her baby. Don't try to cut corners. I'm going to tell you right now, where did I put my little note? One second. To make the diaper cake I'm making today, just for the supplies, was $84.38. That's just for the supplies. But the diapers alone were $25. But if you cut corners and you buy, say your mama uses Huggies or Pampers, these are Pampers, um, and then you buy the cheapest diapers you can find, you need to let her know that so that she's, can decide if she wants to use them or not. Okay, that's just only fair. But since it's my granddaughter, she wanted Pampers. I'm like, Pampers, you have a really high budget. What happened to you? <laughs> but I don't blame her. I, would, I, I use Huggies on my daughter, but Pampers, have, I think there's a lot of good diapers out there. But this time what I did, I bought size three because a lot of people are gonna give diapers and they're gonna give all the little newborn diapers. Mine are size three, so she can use this diaper cake to help decorate the baby's room for a little bit longer. So I'm gonna show you in a minute what you do with these diapers. Um, aside from the diapers, the other thing you're gonna need is some kind of a platter or a tray. Um, I got my platter at uh, the dollar store. I got this one and another one. I didn't end up using this one. I used, um, hey Susan, I know this is a teeny bit of our, our gallery here. These are photographs that I've taken. Someday I'll give you guys a big tour because we're almost done and oh my gosh, it's so cool. I'm just in my dining room because I wanted to be in a different place for this video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I hope church was awesome and fun. I know it was. Um, okay, so I used a different platter but you can find lots of stuff at the dollar store, which I did. So I'm gonna show you what I ended up doing. Um, I bought this platter and the back of it was black, but the front of it was silver. And so I used the chalk paint. It's a little bit scratched because I've been messing with it, but it's not gonna show. But I used that chalk paint and I painted it black. And then I bought a clear candle holder. It's just a little thick. Usually I use the candlestick candle holders um, and I make the uh, cake plate out of it but I wanted it since it's a cow theme 
I thought, oh, I, uh, this chunky cow holder just reminds me of cow feet. I don't know why. And then what I did is I painted the inside with the white chalk paint. And then I painted the outside with the pink and black polka dots. And then um, what you want to use whenever you make any kind of a cake plate, because I love making little ones for cupcakes, for birthdays, you know, not just for diaper cakes, for anything. But I always, always, always use E6000. E6000 will stick to anything and it will stick forever. <laughs> Okay, I don't even uh, mess around with hot glue for things like this because a lot of things will not stick with hot glue. Now I do have my glue, my glue gun is out and plugged in because there is some things that I am going to use this for, but you don't want to use it to to create your cake plate. So anyway, here's the cake plate. This is what the diaper cake eventually is going to go on and how we'll display it over at the baby shower. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need, let me pull it out here. You're going to need a tube. Okay. Now you can use, um, what are they called? Paper towel holders, but these hard ones really are better. And if you own a Cricut machine or anything like that, from what I hear, the, uh, some of the supplies that you buy for the Cricut machines come with these hard tubes. I happen to carry these tubes because I sell um, ostrich feather pins for brides. And so I've got the tubes, they're long, and uh, then I put the feather pin inside to ship it. So I just had my uh, son cut this down to the right size, and then I'll show you in a minute why you need this. And then I used the black chalk paint and I just painted it. I mean, how easy, right? All right, other than that, you're gonna just need stuff like this, ribbons, cute ribbons like i said it's black and white cow with pink you know trim with a little girl i got all of the ribbons at uh, amazon.com even my granddaughter who's super crafty my other granddaughter called me up and she says nana do you have any cow ribbon she was going to make a diaper cake too <laughs> like Brittany, she's the other crafty person in our family and she goes, I can't find cow ribbon anywhere. I'm like, Brittany, you have to buy everything online. She goes, oh, darn it, it's too late now. And I'm like, sorry. <laughs> anyway, and I found this cow. It's not actually ribbon. This is called party tape, but I figured um, it would look cute. And when I got the other ribbons in the mail, I realized I didn't actually buy cow, cow, cow ribbon. And it was going to take too long to get it. And this I could get overnight. So I bought this. Um, again, Amazon.com is your friend. You're going to need, you don't need this many rubber bands. I already had these, but you're going to need, uh, need a couple big rubber bands, or you can use string or jute or something like that. You could even use ribbon uh, for a part that I'm going to show you in a minute or two. Um, I also got these, these cute little ribbons at the dollar store. They kind of had a lot of stuff there. I was impressed. I spent, I think, $13 at the dollar store. Um, yeah, I got these little um, pacifiers. Now, the reason I bought the pacifiers, you're gonna see is so darn cute. We're gonna cut the nipple off. Is that what it's called? Yeah, we're gonna cut it off and use it for something cute. And then I got the, uh, you know, this kind of stuff. Really, basically, you're gonna get whatever you want to decorate the cake. and. I already had this burlap because, you know, having an online business, I have a lot of this stuff. Not everybody has all this stuff, but you can buy burlap online and you don't need a hundred yards like this is. You can just get whatever you need. And then I'm going to decorate the, uh, well, the star of the diaper cake will be decorated in pink sunglasses and a pink bow on her hair because who shouldn't have pink sunglasses? <laughs> Another thing you're going to need is safety pins. Okay, you don't need this many, just a couple of safety pins. You could use straight pins. I don't know. I wouldn't use straight pins. I would go for the safety pins. What else do you need? Is that it? I think that's about it. So the first thing you're going to do, and now I'm going to put the screen down to the table so you can watch what I do because I'm literally doing this right now for the gift, okay? So um, 
well, I might as well show you. No, I'm not going to show you. I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> you want to see the star of the show. You have to wait. It is so cute. <laughs> I thank you guys for being here. Listen, when I'm done making everything, I'll put the screen back up so I can uh, thank you all personally. All right. So let me put the screen down. Let's see. I hope it works. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see what that's like. Hey, hey, this is kind of good. Oh, I forgot. You're going to need these. These are one of the most important things you're going to need. You can get these. I got them at Target. I think you can get them at the dollar store. You can get them almost anywhere. These little clear rubber bands. Now, they have a tiny size and then they have a little bit bigger size. I would go with a little bit bigger size just so you have enough stretch room and I'm going to show you why right now. So I bought a box of, let me see, 78 diapers and let me see how much, is, let me just count how many I'm actually going to use. Hold on. 16, 18, 20, 42, 4, 6, 8, 52. Around 57 diapers is what I'm using, and I'm making a two tier cake. Now, you're not going to have to watch me do this 57 times. I already have that done, but I'm going to just show you. You're going to take your diaper, you're going to pull it top like this, okay? You're going to take the first flap. It doesn't matter which side. Also, when you're looking for diapers, try to get ones that don't have a lot of colors on them, if you can help it, all right? So you're going to just take one side and fold it. And then you're going to roll it up tight. Kind of pull on this end and roll it up tight. Hey, this is kind of good. You can see me. All right. And then take the other side right before you get to the end and fold bend that over to see this okay so it looks like this then you're going to take the little rubber band and you're going to just put it around it these little rubber bands are going to stay on it now i've seen some diys where they actually go back and pull them all off at the end but i just leave it to the mama to do it <laughs> It's enough work to roll all these up. Okay, so let me do a few more just to show you again. Pull it tight. Fold the, the little flap over. Roll it up. When you get to the end, fold that flap over. I mean, you can really go to town with these. I, what I did is I just put a box next to my bed and then I had a, the box of diapers on my bed and I just rolled them up while I was watching TV and then throw them in the box, okay? I'm gonna show you two more times. Pull it tight, fold the flap, either end, doesn't matter. See, when you pull it tight, it goes in like that, see that? If I just started rolling it up like this, see what a mess it would be on the edge? That's why we pull it tight, okay? As you pull it tight, it just, Folds in all by itself is awesome. When you get to the end, fold that over, finish it off. I need another rubber band. And then just put your rubber band over it. Done. I'll do one more. Thank you everyone for being here. This is so fun for me. You don't even know. This is like Ah, this is like going to Hawaii for some of you. I just love crafting. So if I can share what I love with all of you, it's just a blast. Okay, so here's what, it, what you do. Once you have several made, you're going to put them together like this. I usually start with five or six, five or six. And then I would take the bigger rubber band like I was telling you about, these, and I would put the bigger rubber band around those five or six, okay? And then as you make them, oh gosh, I need a few more diapers. Hold on. 
Okay. And then once you have them bound together like this, then as you make the next ones, make sure the flap is up toward the inside. You just pull that rubber band and push it down. See that? Pull the rubber band and push it down. And just kind of keep looking at it, try, you know, keep making it go into that circle that you want it to be. You want this to represent a cake, a little cake, like a little wedding cake. Okay, see, we're getting there. Is, are the lights too bright for you guys? I wonder if I turn the lights a little lower, would that be better? Can someone tell me, should I turn the lights a little bit lower? This seems like it has a glare on it. What do you think? Well, I'll just leave it as is. I don't know. All right. Oh, it's okay. Thank you, Susan. Okay, so I already have my little cake finished. This is the bottom, okay? This is the bottom. And then I already have, I mean, this is the top, not the bottom. This is, can you see it? This is the bottom. Okay, and this is going to, this, I kept adding diapers until that black platter was full. All right, so let me show you that. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. I'll tell you one thing that I'm wishing I didn't do. I'm wishing that I would have bought a plastic candle holder because now I keep thinking, gosh, if I drop this, <laughs> if I drop this, then it's ruined. <laughs> and y'all know I talk with my hands. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to have to move this. I need a bigger screen. <laughs> Let's see if I can roll you a little further out. See if that helps. I don't know if it will. Let's see if this helps. Okay. So here we go. So now this is on that platter, okay? See that? It goes all the way to the edge, all the way around. So that's the size you wanna make it. Now, if you wanna make a smaller diaper cake, just get a smaller platter. Or you can use even a salad plate or a dinner plate, whatever you wanna do. There's, you just can't, you can't make a mistake. Okay, so then that's gonna sit on the bottom and then this one's gonna sit right on top. When this is done, it's gonna be really, really cute. Okay, so let me fix this screen. I'm starting to wonder if I wanna put it sideways. What would happen if I put it sideways? Let me just see. I don't, I don't want you guys to get dizzy. Just let me see. Is that better or worse? Man, shut your eyes. I don't know. I think that's good right there. That's good right there. And I can almost kind of see you guys. All right. Is that good? Can you guys see this? Okay. Cause if you can, I can see it perfectly. Oh, Susan says it's worse. This is worse. Oh, it's better. Okay. <laughs> You're messing with me. <laughs> okay. It's better. All right. So I'm going to do my hot glue gun thing so I can get it out of my way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these pacifiers that I bought. Oh, I should have opened these up already. Oh, there we go. And now I'm going to use this little cute one. Is that sweet? That's so sweet. But what I'm going to do with it right now is not sweet, but it's going to be so cute. What you're going to do is you're going to take a pair of scissors. Where's the, where are you? Where am I? And you're going to cut that nipple off. Okay. Just like that. Just cut it off. There it goes. We don't need it anymore. Okay. We're going to use this in a little while, in a little while. All right. So now I have to decide what I'm going to do. Remember the black tube? 
what you're going to do is you're going to take the middle diaper out. Just take the middle diaper out. Actually, I need to do that with the other cake too. Oh, it's already out. Okay. See, I already took it out. See that little hole in the middle? You take the middle diaper out. You need to use that middle diaper when you're making it, but then when you stack it, that's the reason for this tube. You're gonna put the tube down the hole, all the way down, and into the bottom cake. See that? And like I said, my son cut that off so it's exactly the same height as this second layer of diapers. Now I can literally pick up the whole thing if I need to transport it and not worry about that cake plate breaking or whatever. Okay, and I'm just curious if I should put this, <clears throat> let me see if this is better or worse, if I were to put this on the table. No, it's worse. Okay. Well, I'll just decorate it right here. I should show you the start of the show. Yeah, just in case you can't stay. Here's the star of the show. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you guys, you can't always find these animals with the long arms and the long legs. And that's what I always love to use when I make diaper cakes because they're so stinking cute. <laughs> you cannot see it. Okay, why can't you see it? Why can't you see it? Thank you, Susan. Can you see it now? I'm not sure where to put it so you can see. Can you see? Okay, G thank you, Gina. <laughs> Gina says, I see. Okay, I'm trying so hard. I wish, I'm thinking that if I see it, you should be able to see it. I don't know how to not, how to do it different. But anyway, these are so cute and I'll tell you where I get them every time. I get them from a pet store. And in this case, it was Chewies.com. Chewies.com, and this is a dog toy. And I am sure that there's a squeaker in here somewhere, and I hope to God I don't find it. Because if I find it, y'all know, I've got four poodle, three, how many do I have? Three poodles and a Yorkie that will start screaming and barking if they hear this thing squeak. So I hope to God I don't hit that squeaker. So I'm gonna just go ahead, take off all the tags, And you know, this, I think it was only $9.99. I was really, I would have probably paid anything to get a cow, because I needed that cow. Okay, there's where the sticker is, I guess, in the foot. Do not squeeze foot. Okay. And then what I do, now I know you're not going to also be able to see this at this second, but she's going to sit right here on the bottom of the cake. And then she's going to hold on to the top of the cake. And I know you can't see her. <laughs> I know you can't see her. I'm going to try to wheel this further away. Does that help? If I move it further away? I don't think it does. Maybe if I move the table further away. Oh! I'm going to, I'm going to have a catastrophe in a second. Why is this not doing? Oh, look at this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this going to work? Why can't I make this be in the screen? All right. Close your eyes. Let me try one more time. I'm going to move the camera. That's why. Okay. There we go. Can you see it now? I can't hardly see what you're saying now. Yay, Gina, I see her say yeah or yay. Okay, good. You can see it now. If I bring it even closer, you can see it better. All right. Okay, so anyway, she's going to be with her legs holding the bottom cake and then with her arms holding the top cake, okay? And the cute little thing I was gonna show you, let me just do it and get it over with. But you cut the nipple off of the um, binky and then you hot glue. She can't feel hot glue, don't worry. She can't feel the pain. And you hot glue <laughs> to their mouth. 
I've done that on every diaper cake and it's always a big hit. Super cute. So let me just do that. I need to watch what I'm doing here really quick. Okay. So be careful with your hot glue. Make sure you use plenty. You want it to stick the first time. Okay. Say ouch. Everybody go ouch. Okay. And just stick it on, hold it for, you know, 10 seconds. Oh, she's cute. Instantly, she's adorable. All of a sudden, she's not a dog toy. If somebody could invent a glue gun that doesn't have all the stringy things, they would be absolutely rich. Seems like somebody should be able to invent that. Okay. Are you stuck? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I fall in love with every, every creature that I make. Look how cute she is. What do you think? You like it? She likes it. Okay, I'm gonna cut that tag off the top of her head or that loop, whatever that was. All right. So I, before I start decorating the cake, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bow around her neck or something cute. This, I just wing it. I think the pink polka dot ribbon will be cute and adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that real quick. You can tie a bow or you can just, oh, maybe I won't even tie a bow. That's kind of cute. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, you can, really can't go wrong. No matter what you do, it's all gonna be cute. I'm gonna just do that. Okay. Okay, so there, see? See how cute she's already becoming? <laughs> oh my God, okay. I'm going to put little Miss Cow aside for a minute. And let's just start decorating this thing. Uh, what do I do? I want to use the burlap. I'm going to use the burlap for the bottom row. And I have to tell you, this isn't something I've planned ahead of time. I, and I never do. I just get the right colors of things, things that I like. And then away I go. Now, when you put ribbon around the cake, what you want to make sure you do before you pin it on or whatever, take your raw edges and turn them under just like the diapers so that you won't see the raw edges. Okay. Okay. And then you start pulling this thing tight. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of give in these diapers. Try to make, you know, when you're all done, you can just kind of fiddle with it and make sure everything's straight. What I'm gonna use is a big safety pin to safety pin this ribbon together. I'll um, hide all of it later with, with a big bow. I'm gonna show you here. Okay, so I've just pinned it just like that. You could pin it to the diapers. Man, it's already loose again. Let me just do one more little tug here. Aren't my dogs being good today? <laughs> there we go. Oh, there, now that's nice. That's nice. Oh, I like that. That's cute. That's cute. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna put, oh, that's perfect. Okay, this, the, the burlap is, two and a half inches wide. 
And this black and white checker ribbon is two inches wide. So look, it's just perfect. There's just gonna be a little peep. Oh, that's cute. Of the um, burlap showing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of that off. Oh, I like this ribbon. You know what I should have done? I should have just made it really long and I could have tied the bow right there. I should have, but I didn't. So I'm gonna just deal with it. And I'm gonna use another safety pin. I need a helper. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? I mean, and look with that bottom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I get more excited than the mamas. I can't help it. I just love, love doing this stuff. This is like a nap for me. This is just happy stuff. Okay. All right, now I've got the pink check ribbon. I want to use that. I'll put that at the top. But you know what? I think I'm going to put, I'm going to put burlap at the top too. That's going to tie it all together. That'll be nice, I think. Let me just see. Oh my gosh. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it long. I'm gonna cut, what are these called? The double points. That's a bad one. Let's make a better one. <laughs> I know how to do it right. I better do it right. To do it right, you wanna fold your ribbon like this. And then you want to go this way. And then you've got a nice double point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to do it close to where these other two ended because I'm going to cover those anyway. And I'm going to just tie. Let's see what happens when I tie it. I don't know. We'll see if I'm going to tie it. Yeah, I'm going to tie it. That's cute. Oh my gosh. Because see, eventually you want to have things streaming down. Look how cute that is already. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so then what do I want to do? If I do that, oh, all right, let's do this. Let's do the same thing with the pink. Let's do it. I really do appreciate you guys being here. It's more fun crafting with a friend. Another thing that would be fun to do is to let you know ahead of time what I'm going to be doing and anyone that wanted to make something while I make mine and you make yours, I could give you the supply list or something ahead of time. I don't know. Maybe you can see if that's something people want to do. I'm gonna tie a knot on this one. Oh yeah, okay, tie a knot on that now. I'm gonna take my fat pink ribbon. You might say, gosh, it's like she's just winging it, but you know what, she is. But I've just made enough of these kinds of things that I guess I can wing it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this different pink, and oh gosh, look. I'm gonna put this between the burlap and the little check ribbon. If I can get my finger in there, there we go. Oh goodness. There we go. Okay, 
see that? And I'm just going to tie an overhand one time. That went well. An overhand one time. <laughs> Not. And that's going to hold all these other ones together. Look what a good idea was that. That was a good little idea. Cuter all the time. Okay. There we go. I like to have the ribbons, some of them going right to the table. That's just perfect right there. everyone who's here. My gosh, I'm super excited how many people are actually in here right now. I hope that you're enjoying this. I hope that maybe you're learning something too. Like I said, just for the supplies alone cost me almost $85. So if you were to sell this or if you had to buy this, you're going to pay at least, at least double. So um, you might as well learn how to make it. <laughs> Now, if we ever have a ton of people that are saying, I'm willing to buy a dollar ticket to maybe win something fabulous, and I knew I could get 150 people to either buy one ticket, or, I mean, if you pay $5, you get five tickets to be in the drawing. I would love to make some really fabulous things like this. I don't mind spending the money if I don't have to eat it. <laughs> I don't want to eat it. That's not fair. Okay, so what do I want to do down here? I think I want to do, you know, there's not a whole bunch more to do on this thing. Um, you can do as much or as little as you want. That's the fun part about these. But I do need to do something with these. I really, if I had this to do over again, I would have tied both of those in a knot, okay? And I really could go back and do it again, but before I do, I'm going to try, try something first. Because if I can not have to do it, that'd be good. I'm going to see what happens if I just try to tie a ribbon around both of those two that are held with safety pins. And if that works, I'm going to have to come over here. If that works, then I can um, take those safety pins off. Or at least hide them. Let's see what happens. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's cute. You know, that's just kind of the fun thing about crafting, especially if you've done it for a long time. I know people that are not crafters don't know where to begin, but, you know, you just kind of, Go with the flow. I'm not going to have to take those safety pins out. Look at that. That's cute. See that? It's coming along. I'm going to move all the junk out of the way while I do the final, final touches. You know, I never ever used this cow tape I was showing you, and I don't know that I actually will, because if I did, it would cover. I probably should have used it first, just to show you how cute it could have been. Except, you know, it's not ribbon, and it really is crinkly looking, and to me, I hate to say it, but it sort of looks cheap. Now, if I did this again, a cow theme, I would buy this, but make sure that you buy regular ribbon. Um, there's all kinds of, you know, some of these ribbons that I got is, are kind of soft, softer than normal, but they work just fine. But this is more like, I don't know, it reminds me of a birthday party for a little kid, like a streamer or something. I don't I really don't know what you use it for. I'm not going to use it. I might tie one of the, 
I might use it to tie up one of the little gifts I got. That's probably what I'll do. And as soon as I'm done finishing this cake, which I'm almost done, then I'll show you the gifts that I got and how I'm going to present the gifts, how I'm going to wrap the gifts, and just to give you some cute ideas. Okay, so this, this little ribbon says, a little sunshine. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I think I need to have that on here somewhere. At this point, is just make it cute and stop when you're done. <laughs> make it cute. Oh, look. Can somebody put their finger on that knot for me? <laughs> Oh, little sunshine. Okay. Well, let's get the princess. Hello, princess. Are you ready? Now, how am I going to stick you on here? How am I going to stick you on here? You're so cute. Wrong arm. Okay. See, normally I have to tell you, normally I would sit her on the platter, and this is where she'd sit. That's why she's not looking like she's... And I would do this. I'm gonna have to come up with another idea. If I were to stick you here, you're gonna be a little bit tall. But is that okay? I don't know. Or, let's see. Let me think about this. Normally, it's facing me. Let me think how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to just safety pin her on because... <laughs> oh, I can't stand it. It is so cute. Uh, i got a safety pin you on, but I don't want the safety pin to show. It may end up costing a few of the diapers, but oh well. Why can't I figure out how to do this all of a sudden? Go in there. There we go. <laughs> Hold on tight so you don't fall off. We have a long drive. That's cute. Safety pin her legs around the body. Yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I was just thinking, you guys probably have some ideas. Yeah, I'm going to have to pin through a few of these diapers. I don't think they're ruined. <laughs> okay. Okay, there she is holding on the, with, leg, with the arms. Now the legs, I'm going to have to safety pin to the bottom too. The thing is, I really want her head right here. And the way her body is, it would be like this. So I'm going to have to... 
I'm going to have to, what do I want to do? Kind of have her hanging on. It's actually still cute. Look, <laughs> she's hanging on for dear life. Are you happy? Wag your tail if you're happy. She'll be hanging on for dear life, but it's a diaper cake. It's not a wedding cake. <laughs> now, I've made wedding cakes, too. When you make wedding cakes, you have to be a little more particular. But a diaper cake, they're just cute as a button. I mean, you just want to do something that's adorable. Okay, let's pin you on so you don't fall off. Another idea that I think is a good idea, but I, I didn't, I couldn't get them in time, but I would have bought, you know, the big baby uh, diaper safety pins with the big plastic, they're super cute. I would have bought those because then it doesn't matter if they show because it would be part of the decoration. So, you know, I've made a zillion of these and I'm still learning. You still learn. Okay. My goodness. There we go. Okay. All right, I just cut a long piece of the black and white and the pink and white ribbon, and I'm gonna put them somehow. How do I wanna do this? What I really wanna do, I'm not gonna do. I really wanna hot glue her hands together like this and then put the bow around the hands. And why don't I do it? Why would I not do it? This is just a... You can't let a baby play with this anyway with this in her mouth. Maybe I will do that. Ugh. I hope I don't regret it. Because then I want to put the bow around those feet and dangle down. And right now the bow will fall out, see? How can I do that? I'm going to do it. Uh, I hope I don't regret this. The squeakers are in these two paws because I can feel them. Uh, don't squeak. How are you doing, little girl? You're so cute. Or a, a dowel rod in her back and attach it. Safety pin her legs. It's looking good. Oh, thank you. Well, the cow tape was going to go around the cake, like the ribbons. But now that I look at it, to me, it's not going to, it wouldn't lay as nice as ribbon does. See how it's crinkly? And to me, it just sort of looks cheap. And I don't want, I don't know. I'm going to just use it for um, wrapping presents. That'll be cute enough. Okay, so. Now I can actually take this ribbon and put it between her hands. Oh my gosh, wait, it did not. I have to push. Okay. I thought it was glued tight, but it wasn't. Don't you dare not work now that I've ruined you. There we go. Are you guys sad that I didn't use the cow tape? I guess I could use it. There's always somewhere to put it.
I asked my daughter what time I should be there. I said, I can't stay all day, but I want to be there for my favorite part, which is when she opens her presents. And I want to be there um, because we don't do birthdays and Christmas the way a lot of people do. And all of my uh, grandchildren are going to be there today and my great grandchildren. And so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is take each one of them on my lap, if they'll still sit there, and we're going to go online one at a time, and they're going to choose their birthday present. And then I'll have their, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll have their birthday present shipped to their house, so then I don't have to wrap any presents. But that's okay. And um, I don't think any of their birthdays are actually this month, but that's how Nana and Papa do it. We surprise them. We never tell them when it's going to happen, <laughs> which makes it fun. We never tell them when it's going to happen, but then when it happens, they're just like ecstatic. So I wanted to make sure that I get there when everyone's there so I can make sure and have that time with them. Okay, so I just made a bow with this ribbon, and I'm just going to stick it right there and just kind of cover up the mechanics here. Stick it right there. What do you guys think? Yeah? Yay? Nay? All right. There's my glue stick. Thank you, Gina. Michelle says, nope. Nope what? It looks good the way it looked. It's looking. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, since I have another binky, it's a little kitty. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see. I'm going to just cut that nipple off and I'm going to have that be the center of the bow. See that? I'm in love with her. I've also taken still shots of every step, even going to the stores, because I'm going to be doing some um, digital uh, files where I'm going to try to sell some digital DIYs. So not everything can be live, but I figure if I'm going to do this anyway live, I can also have step-by-step -step with photographs and instructions. And so I'll, I'll just put that in some file till someday when I'm ready to do that. But I always figure, I try to think ahead, plan ahead. If I'm making it anyway, I don't want to have to make one just for a video or just for a digital file. But if I'm making something anyway, heck. Do it. All right. Are you gonna, are you sticking there? I need to look at this for a second. There we go. There we go. That's so cute. Okay, I just have I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not.
I bought a few things that I kind of decided not to use. I bought these little pink blocks that say baby, but honestly, I don't know where I put them unless I put them here. And if we do, we'll just do it at the shower. I don't want to glue them on. Well, yeah, I bought them, might as well use them. But I'll just put them on over there. So what do you think? <laughs> I had one more thing I wanted to do, because her name's Holly, and I was gonna put her name here, but I didn't have anything cute. I have um, yacht, the wooden Yahtzee, not, is it Yahtzee? The letters for Scrabble, I think, Scrabble, Scrabble letters. I have a whole big box of all the different letters, and I thought, well, I could make a little banner somehow with toothpicks or something, and, put her name, but I don't know. I didn't really plan ahead. I didn't know her name till this morning. I wasn't sure what her, her name's gonna be. So I think, I think we'll just call this done. Why not? It's pretty cute, huh? Um, if you wanna stick around, ooh, wait a minute. If you wanna stick around, I would love for you to, so I can show you the little gifts that I got and how easy it is to present it. I was at the dollar store and I'm like, well, this is the perfect place to buy gift bags because they're cheaper and they're darling. But then I found something else. If you can find something that you can use instead of a bag, let me just show you. But, hi, honey. She said it. Honey, you want to say hi? Somebody wants to say hi. Sisters, you just want to say hi. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> Everyone else is in the bedroom. Little Shadow was sound asleep in my office. Yes, you were. Okay. You're a good girl. Anyway, if you can find something that you can use that's a gift bag, but then also something they can use afterward, that's always a good idea. When I leave, when I turn the video off, I'm gonna put this cow, this diaper cake back here so that this will be the picture that shows up, I hope. I thank you everyone for being here. I see all of you, you guys are awesome. But I'm just gonna put her aside for a minute while I show you the fastest way to wrap presents in something cute. Okay. And I have to say that I used to work for Macy's and I learned how to perfectly gift wrap. And so that's why I love to gift wrap, love, love to gift wrap. But something like this, when I know I'm gonna be busy, 
making the making the diaper cake. Then I'm exhausted. Now I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I what I got. Now let me tell you a little bit about this family. This is my granddaughter Brielle, and she already has two little girls. So this is her third little girl. And they love to go to the snow. They're always at the snow, taking darling pictures at the snow. They live in California too. So I found the cutest thing. But anyway, this is what I'm going to wrap everything in. And I found this on amazon.com, okay? And they have these with every kind of pattern you can think of. Let me see how much I paid for this. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. It was going to cost, well, if I would have bought the gift bag at Target, that would have been five bucks if I found something cute. Of course, the dollar store had cute ones for a dollar, but for ten bucks. And then, look, she can use it in the baby's room and put diapers in there or bath supplies or anything. I mean, and she could put, when the baby gets a little older, she could put her toys in here. I'm sure her other two girls will find all kinds of things to do with this before baby is even crawling. But this is what I'm using instead of a gift bag, all right? So now I'll just show you what I got. I got some black and white tissue paper. And I'm just going to wrap everything in black and white tissue paper, not the perfect Macy's way. Just simple Simon, easy, and put it right back in that cow basket. So that will be adorable. I don't know how many pieces I have here. Oh, good. There's more in here than I thought. And again, I found this on Amazon. You can just get almost anything you want from Amazon. There we go. And then I pay for the Prime, so I just get the overnight delivery or one day delivery, whatever that is. And it's just easy. All right, so the first thing I'm going to easily wrap, I found these cute bits. Can you see these? The light's shining weird. Just see what happens if I turn the light down a little bit. I have a lot of light happening here. Let's see if that helps. Could help. Did that help a little bit? Or it could be the overhead light. Let me just try one more thing. Sweetheart. Okay, let me just dim it. Oh, that makes the cow show up cute. Oh, I think that's going to be better. Mm, it's still not perfect, is it? It's hard to see. Anyway, you're just going to have to trust me. This one says pint size. This one just has little cow milk jugs. And this one is just the cow fabric. How cute. And they're really nice bibs, really nice fabric with snaps, super cute. And gosh, these were a pack of three, they were $15. I guess that is kind of expensive. Man, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I wasn't trying to cut corners. It's her baby shower for heaven's sake. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm going to take some of the cute ribbons here that I have left over from the diaper cake. And I'm just going to tie it. Little simple Simon. Super cute. And put it over there. All right, the next thing I got is this little cow. What do they call these? There's a little name for it. It's a, uh, a lovey blanket. A lovey blankie. And they have them with every kind of animal. So this is a lovey, I mean, that you suck your thumb and, you know. <laughs> and this little lovey blankie with the cow, Amazon, for $15. I guess, you know, I don't know. 
we were going to just give her a gift certificate and let her buy some things she wanted. But then I just started having so much fun. I'm like, forget it. I'm going to buy what I want her to have. <laughs> Who knows if I, you know, a mama with three of three, she might have had to spend the money for the gift certificate on the other two kids, which I totally get. But I just had fun doing it. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Cinch it in the middle with a different cute ribbon. And put it over there. And then I got... Now, I've never seen one of these before. I'm like, man, I could have made one of these. <laughs> it's called the Raz Buddy Passy Holder. And it's a little baby cow. Let me bring it up there. It's kind of hard to see. But it's a little baby cow. How come I can't make this glare go away? I don't know. It's hard to show you. But it's a little baby cow. And then it's got a ribbon that's attached to its mouth with Velcro. And then it wraps around a pacifier. And they can use their own pacifiers, too. But this one comes with a pacifier. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was so cute. And, of course, it's a cow. And that's the theme, so let's stick with it. So this little guy was $13. $13. I didn't say this was a, you know, I watch a lot of videos that are dollar store themes. I didn't say that this was dollar store theme, but I did buy a lot of things from the dollar store. And then I bought a lot of things not from the dollar store. So I'm not trying to teach you how to save money in this video. Some, some videos I do, I, I probably will. Because that's important and it's fun to do. To look for good bargains. Okay, and then next. Now I bought this little cow. This little cow is called um, Plush Cow. Actually, it's called Plush Sleepy Time Cow by Jelly Cat. And I got it from Amazon. And I wouldn't, if I had it to do over again, I probably wouldn't buy this because I thought this was going to go inside the cute, a cute outfit I bought. But the outfit I bought is too big for the cow. So I'm not going to. Well, maybe I will wrap it up in the outfit after all because this little stuffed animal was $22.50. Now, if I would have, instead of put, using that other cow with the long arms, this little cow could have sat right on top of the cake and you just decorate her, okay? Then it would be worth $22.50. I don't think it's worth $22.50 even though it's a really nice plush, but I really didn't need it. So I'm going to put you aside. I'm sorry, I feel bad now. I'll put her aside and I'm going to put her in the outfit here in a minute. And then I just have an extra pacifier. It says Sassy Pants. I just grabbed it. I'll just throw it in there. Okay, and then I found this. This is called Amazing M Non-Toxic Plastic. It's a teether, and it's a cow. It's a cow face, and then it's got like these beads, black and white beads. And these are those, they're made out of, I think it's, it's not wood. There's people that make them out of wood. I don't know what they're made out of, but it's, oh, silicone. Yeah. Sil silicone teether for the first time. Oh, disinfect it. Okay, before using. Children should be supervised. Okay, oops. Watch your children when you give them little things that they can choke on. <laughs> but anyway, all of this is attached to the cow. We start off right. All right. My brain was, look for cow stuff. Look for cow stuff. That was my whole um, job there. Looking for cow stuff. You know what? I might as well use that cow tape. I said I was going to. Oh. Now that'll look cute on a little present. Oh, yeah. You guys are having fun. Thank you for keeping me company.
oh my gosh, this is kind of perfect for tying around a present. It's a tiny, tiny bit stretchy. So then when you pull it, it holds it. It holds it. Look how cute. <laughs> this is cute. Ooh, I just want to put it on all of them now. How many more do I have? Well, I have a book. Night Night Farm. Night Night Farm. And it's got a cow on the front. And it's just the cutest book. Super cute. <sighs> Too cute. I like to put things in the, the gifts that are something that the other kids, if they have other kids, might think are fun. Because I used to always take separate gifts for the other kids. But my husband's like, babe, it's a baby shower for the baby. It's not for the other kids. We buy for the other kids on different things. I'm like, I know, but I know, but I know, but he's like, I know, but nothing. <laughs> I know, but nothing. You know what I didn't bring over here is tape. I did not bring tape. And at this very second, I could use some. I think I have some right here. So let's do this then. get my packing tape, I think is what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, I do. It's right here. All right, guys. I guess it's kind of nice to run a business from my home I have all the packing supplies. It's funny because I haven't really bought Scotch tape for a very long time <laughs> because I just use packing tape. Nobody cares. Nobody really cares. really bad wrapping job, let me tell you. Very bad packing, wrapping job. <laughs> but, I do know how to make a perfect bow We'll use the cow ribbon. So here's how you do it. Here's the gift. You put one end of the ribbon at one end, 
of the gift and the other end at the other like that. And then you take this side and you put it at the top and you go down to the bottom the second time. Then you take this to the top and you go halfway down, okay? And then hopefully this is gonna work. Well, it's gonna work, but it would have worked better if I would have this cut off, okay. Okay. I don't know how to do it slow. I have to do it fast, but I just told you how. From top to bottom, from top to bottom, from top to halfway. Then you pick up the gift, and then you go to the other side, go around the back, and up and over, and through, and like that. Normally, there's enough to make a bow. So here's what I did wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again because I know I have enough. So let's do it again. One, two, oh, I think I'm supposed to go around three times. Oh, it just tore. All right, forget it. It just tore. Ah, I was trying to show you something fabulous. Let's just do it the old fashioned way. Normally, when you do it the right way, the back is flat both ways, and then there's no knot. Instead of a knot, the bow is tied in the front. It's really awesome, and that's how I do usually all my gifts. <laughs> uh, Judith says, I have a feeling someone's awake out there. He was sound asleep. Okay. All right, see, that's still cute. I think I'll take one more piece and tie the bow. I would yell his name, but my little Judah is deaf, so he can't hear me. And I'll tell you what, it is the cutest thing. Whenever I'm working in my office and he falls asleep, I can't leave my office without waking him up and telling him because He'll wake up and panic, and then he doesn't know where we are, and he's running all over the house. So all I have to say is to Gracie, go tell Judah. Go get Judah. Tell him we're leaving. And she runs right to Judah and either does this with her paw or nose to nose and hits his little nose and wakes him up. It's the cutest thing. I, I should videotape it. I mean, it's that cute. I don't know what he's barking at, though, because he can't hear me. It makes me wonder if he barks when nobody's home like that. That would be sad to think of. Okay. Well, I'm kind of glad I didn't use this cow tape on the cake because it really makes cute gifts. Super cute. Okay. The final gift. Remember I told you they love the snow? <laughs> what I found. Oh, my gosh. They love the snow. And here's a little cow infant snowsuit. Oh my gosh. Is that the cutest thing? I can't remember what I paid for this. I probably paid more than I needed to. Uh, no. This costs more than the snowsuit. This was $22.50, the snowsuit was 20 bucks, and it is super nice. It is all lined and thick and cozy. I mean, if you could feel this, oh my gosh. It's just darling. <laughs> so, but when I bought this cow, I was gonna have this cow wearing the cow suit. Doesn't that sound like a cute idea? But this cow's just not big enough, but I'm still gonna stuff it in there, and I'll put its head I'll put its head in the hood. Look, it has ears on the hood. 
Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. So cute. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh, I needed to get a big old stuffed animals. And this is newborn. But I guess, you know, they're supposed to be big and cozy. Okay, let me snap you up. How can I make you stay? <laughs> like that. I just can't, I can't stand it. I can't hardly stand this. You're so, so cute. Okay, well, you really don't fit in there. I don't know. Maybe it would just be cuter to not have it in there. I'm taking it out. It's just too small. I'll just wrap you up. You'll just be a present. Honestly, I don't know how to wrap this up. It's thick. These tissues are not big enough. I can't see what you guys were saying. Uh, what am I going to say? I can't see them. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't buy any cute wrapping paper that I could use, and this tissue paper is not big enough. I don't know how to even do it. I absolutely, this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna wrap it tight. Let's see what happens. Well, this is not going to do it either, is it? I see the cow peeking out. Okay, so then, I guess, I'm just going to take it. That works. Well, I'm glad that this tissue paper had this many pieces inside. Because I wouldn't have had enough to make everything match. Cow tape. Cow tape. I'm calling it cow tape, but that's what it's called. It's called party tape. Party tape. Say, you know how I said that we don't do birthday presents at birthdays, usually, or Christmas presents at Christmas, but when it's their birthday, we get them whatever the heck they want, if we can afford it. And they're never greedy. That's what I'm just so impressed with my little grandkids. 
they're, they're just not. And, um, but because the way I do do it, or my husband and I do choose to do it, they're always so excited when they see me. <laughs> Last time they had an event, one of the grandkids had never even, the Grady's, had never even met me yet. And she was only like two and a half, I think, and I had not met her yet. Um, and they they came in from where they live, and but because all the other little kids came running at me saying, no, no, no. She came right behind him. Nana, nana. She didn't even have a clue who I was. But by the time I left, she knew who I was. <laughs> I tell you, little kids, they're the best. Okay, I'm just going to wrap this cow up. She'll never know that I had another plan. It's all good. <sighs> You go to face down. Face down. Okay. All right. Y'all know now I need a nap. And now I gotta go down, pack everything up, and drive down there. Ooh. My husband and my son were also invited to this. Because when we do baby showers, we usually just, it's just family day. But both of them asked me to please let everybody know that this felt a little girly to them. I said, is that really what you want me to tell them? Yeah, just tell her. It's a little girly. This is, this is for girls. And uh, you know why they did that, don't you? Because today we're having a beautiful 80 degree day. And uh, they all went golfing. I'm like, I can't make you go. And you know what? I wouldn't want to. And the last one that my husband did go to is... It wasn't fun for him. He's like, after two minutes, I said hi to everybody, and then I ate food, and then then what? There was nothing. He doesn't get excited like like I do about all the little details. Okay, I still have some tissue paper left, which is good because here's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah. So remember this. I'm gonna. Oh, here's what I'll do. I'm going to put the snow sheet on the bottom. Instead of wasting a bunch of stuffing, this will go in the bottom. Push it in. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Then you take your tissue and you poke it in the middle like that, and then you stick it down. I mean, I'm going to treat this like it's a gift bag, right? That's what I'm going to do. But I'll do that after I pile these presents in. So everything's just going to be... Piled in here, super cute. Well, there's not going to hardly be room. <laughs> Judah. Are you looking in the door of the shadow and then he sees you? He's barking at you. He's barking at you, isn't he, Shadow? I know. You want in there? You're gonna go in there soon as mommy leaves. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Cute. <laughs> That's 
cute. Okay. So that's a fun way, especially for a theme party, a very fun way to present your gifts. Let's bring the princess back here. This was a how-to video, a DIY, how to make a diaper cake. Let me put it up a little smidge. <laughs> you see the wall. Thank you, Kathy T. I see you. I can barely see. I'm going to go look before I turn this off so I can say hello to you guys. Thank you for, thank you guys for hanging out with me. And remember the little bottom? See how cute that is? The black and white and pink polka dots. Oh my gosh. Too cute. Who did that? Michelle, thank you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, I tell you. This was a blast. I just loved every second of it. I wish I had someone else to push and so that I could be next to this cake, but maybe we can go close. What happens if we go close? <laughs> oh, oh, you didn't see that. <laughs> you didn't see that. Well, see, those are those blocks that I didn't glue on. You know what? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to take them. I think they're just an accident waiting to happen. Anyway, thank you everyone for stopping by, for learning how to do a diaper cake, and for keeping me company especially. <laughs> I think my granddaughter is going to love this. And um, her new little baby. My goodness, three little daughters. How sweet, right? My other granddaughter has three little daughters too. And then my grandson has two daughters and one son. So... Only one boy in the grandchild group. He loves being the only boy, I have to tell you. And of course, then there's Bowen, but he's not my great-grandson. He's my grandson. All right, so with that, I think I'm going to say goodbye because I need to get on the road now. And I have about this much energy left. <laughs> this much. This, this, this much. Whew. It says 146 people stopped in at some point. That's pretty fun. Oh my gosh. I, I, Gina, I'm telling you, I can go to bed right now and wake up tomorrow and not even know there was a baby shower. <laughs> a baby what? <laughs> anyway, thank you everyone. Have a blessed, beautiful day, Palm Sunday, whatever you end up doing, you know what? Do everything. Lifting Jesus higher. Anyway, that's how I'm going to spend my day. Big hugs to you all. I'll be back again with something fabulous. But I have to rest first. <laughs> and I'll see you all next time. Okay, guys. Big hugs. <laughs>